Now, as much as I have come from Michaela in the past about things, you guys might be surprised about my thoughts on this situation. Hey, Shelby Bells, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Shelby. I'm the crazy cat lady of the drama community here on YouTube. I bring you the tea seven days a week with the help of my investigative research team, Mr. and Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty is the brains around here and Mr. Kitty is the face, which sometimes means that he brings us a little bit of clickbait. It's easy to forgive him because he's so cute. So if you like cats and you like Tea, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget that all Shelby Bells ring the bell. Michaela Noguera has been a very hot topic lately, you guys. Mascara Gate, Lash Gate took the internet and the media by storm. It was all over social media, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all of it, TikTok, everything. And Michaela has been in a lot, a lot of drama ever since that happened. But this particular drama that we're going to be talking about today is not something that Michaela is new to. Like this whole thing that's, that she is speaking about right now is not a new drama. People have been talking about this for a long time in regards to Michaela, but she's speaking out on it and she's kind of showing um, how she really feels about the situation. So you guys, if you know who Michaela is, and if you're watching this video, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you do. You know that Michaela has this like strong like Boston accent and I like um, don't really know how to do a great Boston accent. I don't want to offend the Boston community. She has this like strong like Northeast Boston accent right and a lot of people say that it's fake I truly believe that a huge part of the reason Michaela has gotten to where she has gotten today is not because of her makeup ability is not because of anything like that I truly believe it's because of her accent it's something that makes her stand out and it's something that even if you just start scrolling through TikTok, oh, it's like, oh, it's that girl with the accent again. Oh, it's that girl with that Boston accent. Oh, it's that girl from America that has that Northeast accent. Like wherever you're from, you can recognize the accent is just very strong and different, right? It's a reason that some people know me as being super country because I get real country sometimes in my videos and I have this Southern twang, right? People wreck it. It's something that makes her stick, okay? And I gotta tell you, you know, I don't believe the accent's real either. There's a lot of people going around um, on TikTok and all these things on making fun of Michaela's accent or just the way Michaela does her videos in general. There's people saying her accent's fake and all that. And I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys. I feel like, you know, Michaela absolutely does amp up the accent and, you know, kind of exaggerate and stuff for the show, for the gig on social media. I'm gonna be honest with you, I truly do believe that. Now, whether you love the accent or you hate the accent or whatever it is, people know her for the accent and I believe it is a great marketing strategy that she has adopted for herself in creating this, you know, no, you're not creating, but exaggerating this part of herself that makes her unique. When you think about sticking out on social media, I'm sorry, I'm holding Mr. Kitty's paw over here. It's not often he just lets me sit here and hold it. So I'm only talking with one hand. <laughs> um, it's not often that on social media that you can, it, it's very hard to find something that's gonna make you unique and stick out like that. And I believe she has capitalized on the fact that she is in Boston or grew, grew up in Boston or whatever she says, she, she's from there, whatever, was raised there, I don't really know, but she's from Boston and she uses this accent to her advantage. And I think it is a great way to market for herself and make her stick out. I just honestly, truly do. Now, I don't believe that the accent every day when she's just talking like, you know, whatever, I don't believe that it is as strong as it is in her TikToks. I really don't. And you know what I have to say about that? Some of you guys might not like this, but I think that's okay. I think it's okay that she doesn't have like this. I think it's okay that she's putting, like she's amping it up a little bit. I think in the grand scheme of things as to what people can come from Michaela for, um, I think the mascara thing was totally valid and warranted people to come for her for. I think the being rude to, to wait staff and stuff is extremely validated and called for. People came, came for her for that. But I don't think that really, I feel like you're just like, you know, what is it? Looking for ticks on an ant or whatever. I think is that, is that tits on an ant? Is that the expression? Nick Snyder uses that expression a lot. Tits on an ant. I think, I don't think Nick, Nick, if you watch this, 
Nick, do you watch my videos? I don't know. But it, is that the expression tits on an ant? I think it's tits on an ant. I feel like people are just looking for tits on an ant with this. And because it's like, it's a way that she's used to market herself. I don't find it deceitful. I don't find anything because I feel like, you know, she is, she probably does have a little bit of that accent within her. Maybe it's not quite as strong or maybe it only comes out when she gets angry or whatever because, okay, uh, spoiler alert, you know, when I get super country and I start talking like this and stuff, that's not how I just sit here and talk all day, every day, all the dang old time. It really isn't. It really isn't, but it just comes out sometimes. And if I'm not, if I'm being truthful, sometimes I amp it up for the videos. I do it in the video just because I want to, I, I think it's more interesting that way, you know? And I, I mean, like, I get so many comments about, girl, you're so, oh, your little country accent so cute. Oh my God, you're so country. And the, the, the truth is that I do talk like that so often that even my coworkers call me like, my coworkers have a joke and they call me Cracker Barrel sometimes because I just like amp up the country accent or they call me Southern Belle or whatever because I do amp it up sometimes when I'm being, when I'm making a joke, when I'm getting dra dramatic about something being silly or whatever. I do amp it up, but if we're just having a conversation person to person like this, then I probably don't have a very strong country accent. Right? And it's probably, I mean, you might be able to hear a little bit of it because I was born in Memphis and I, and I did grow up in Houston, Texas. But you don't really hear a very strong country accent when I'm just having a serious conversation with you. But if we're joking around having a good time, girl, oh my God, you know the country accent is going to come out super strong. You know it is. So it's just, I don't know. I don't fault Michaela for that. I don't think that it's like the worst thing that people could say about her. But what I am going to do, because, okay. I'm going to repost this little TikTok that I found and I, it is kind of making fun of Michaela, but I think it's done in like a lighthearted way. And I think there's something to be said for, you know, really kind of like being mean and making fun of somebody and then just kind of reading somebody and roasting them. I'm all for reading and roasting. I'm not for making fun of people where it hurts. So I'm going to roll you the clip. Go to part two. Hey guys, we're going in with the tight contour. Hey guys, so we're going in with this telescopic mascara. And are you freaking kidding me right now? This looks like falsies. Hey guys, today we're going in with this. I think we got a little re elegant infallible eyeliner. We're just going to see what this guy. Are you guys seeing this? Come on, this might be my new wedding eyeliner. Okay, and I'm sorry, I just think that's super funny. I just think that was so funny when she put the lash on and it was like on her freaking, like almost her brow bone. And then she did like this with the, the stuff and then mess, the foundation's just like so like that. I just think that's funny, you guys. I think it's funny, okay? Michaela, I don't think she thinks it's very funny. I'm not sure if she's referring to particularly this TikTok in general, but she posted something to her, um, to her social media and it said, you know, like all of these things about her accents really getting old and she feels like this type of way about it. I, <laughs> I can't, I'm, I can't figure out if Michaela's trying to really like really, you know, what is it? I can't ever think of the expressions I want to use when I'm making these videos. Okay, hill, hill to die on. I can't decide if Michaela is making this accent thing like her hill to die on. Like she's she is gonna stand by the fact that this is her accent, this is how she is, all of this the day she dies, or if she like just knows that people should assume that it's amped up for as a marketing strategy for herself. I don't really I can't really decide on which direction she's going with this. I know she keeps saying that it is real and that's something that's haunted her for a long time, but it's like I don't know guys, because I feel like why would an accent haunt, if you're from somewhere and everybody else that you, or a lot of the people, the majority of the people that are around you growing up are also from that area, right? And how would your accent be something that has haunted you for such a long time when everyone around you would, a like, I'm assuming this, 
would have a similar accent to yours or be familiar with that kind of strong accent because you all live in the same area. And that's just the way that the, uh, the, the accent comes off there. Why would you, why would that haunt you? So in a way, I guess that makes me like think to myself like, oh, okay, is she trying to act like, is she trying to play this up to get some sympathy from people? Cause she knows that she messed up during mascara gate. She's trying to deflect from the this, this situation from that because a lot of people haven't forgiven her for that. And people just keep coming at her for different stuff. Is she trying to get the attention off of that and onto some sympathy about this? But I'm having trouble believing or understanding how this, you know, she could have been so negatively affected about having an accent in a place that everyone else would speak with the same kind of dialect, even if at least just a little bit, maybe not everyone, but a, a good enough majority, a good enough portion of people to where I don't think that it would be something that would make her like stand out or make her like weird in any way or like, you know, like everybody else. Like when I have my country accent, yeah, when I amp it up and stuff, yeah, it's like, I'm in Houston. So it's not like everyone around me has a, like a super Southern drawl. But at the same time, like you experience a lot of people that have Southern draws. So it's not something anybody makes fun of me for, or like, at least not in a negative way. Like maybe I just a little, have tougher skin than her. I don't know. But I feel like when I do it, or when I like get roasted or read for my dialect or my accent when I speak in that strong Southern twang, I feel like it's all just like, no one's doing it out of hate or whatever. At least the people around me day to day. Now on social media, I've never had anybody say anything negative about my Southern draw or my Southern twang. People have always, if anything, they've said it was like endearing or whatever. So is it different with a Boston accent or Boston dialect than it is with a Southern Texan dialect? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I know that the, that, that Boston dialect and that, 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 that strong like pat to that kind of stuff is a little bit, it is a little like strong. It's like a little bit off-putting, I guess. It's not like necessarily the softest, easiest thing to listen to. So a lot of people have said in my comment section when I've, you know, replayed, TikToks and stuff hers on my videos that you know it's, it's hard to listen to because it sounds so like tough and aggressive right it's just not it's not um easy on the ears but is a southern drawl any more easy on the ears I don't know it's not really something to be compared I'm just kind of giving my perspective on it because I kind of have a similar situation where it's like I do have an accent that comes out pretty strongly and stuff and sometimes I even amp it up for stuff so I don't know I feel like it's kind of kind of similar situation but I don't know. I feel like if she's trying to make it seem like it's something that's like really upsetting her and hurting her, I feel like it's probably just to get some attention and some views because of this, like, I don't see how it could be. I don't see how it could have been affecting her for years. And we've clearly seen how she's able to turn it off. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I think I could ramble on and say the same thing over and over again in a million different ways. I don't think I want to do that. But I hope that you guys are kind of grasping the the concept that I'm trying to say. If, she, okay, in a nutshell, my belief, if she's trying to make it seem like this, this accent thing, people making fun of it or saying stuff about it is really hurtful and it's been like really hard on her, then I feel like she's exaggerating and trying to get some sympathy. So I don't feel like it's really been that big of a thing that's excluded her from her like, life and traumatized her and set her apart. Now, I don't know her. I could be wrong on that. It's just my opinion and my assumption based on, you know, my similar kind of a situation with that. And also just like how I feel like people like would react around her. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Do y'all think that it's totally, completely just like, like, the worst thing ever in the entire world that Michaela could be, you know, egging on her accent or exaggerating her accent for views and for whatever. Do you, is, do you think that, that is just so awful and so wrong? Do you understand the brilliant marketing behind it? And do you think that 
her having that strong Boston accent is what has helped her stand out and has been a good marketing strategy for her. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all of this uh, drama with Michaela and her accent and her being upset about people talking about it or whatever. I'd love to hear from you. And aside from that, that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all my future videos when they do post. Remember that all Shelby Bells ring the bell. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, YouTube should be suggesting a couple more down here for you to choose from. So I'd love it if you did that. And aside from that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.